Our team is so purple and void like. I got him. Nice, we get the 420 start. If I sell my HP, we're 10 gold off call, that's right. If you get a ward, you have just enough gold. If you kill a ward. If you sell your HP, you have just enough gold to get call. Let's do longsword. I'm gonna try to kill this Camille. We'll try to play a little bit. I'm gonna try to play a little bit more aggressive than normal. I guess my flash is down, so maybe early on we'll be a little bit more passive, but overall I want to play the lane more aggressively. Nice little three shock in. Wow. I actually was not expecting that shotgun to get those other minions. That seemed like it covered a lot. Dang, she is going D shield. That would have been nice if she was going blade. My autos are going to be extra strong with that longsword. The way the wave is playing out, I just want to go for a callback. Because I think we'll get ganked. No and since my flash is down, I definitely don't want to be pushed up right now. Nice, that's a really good early start. It can be a little bit tricky to get a cheater recall into Camille. She can actually fight back. I guess having the extra longsword helps out a lot. Wonder how the mid matchup gives this game. I don't think I've ever seen a Mouse vs. Fizz. She got me with it. You always want to try to cut out that second Q on Camille. Alright, good luck to you as well, Mip. Hope your games go well, dude. Nice, he's gonna miss a cannon XP. What do you think about the new mythics? Anything gonna be good on Ergot? Uh, the only two new mythics I could see being... I could see the... Iceborne Gauntlet maybe being decent. And Goliath I think that Goliath online. thing might be kind of decent, too. I feel like that Goliath item with, like, Titanic Hydra and, like, Sterax Stunplate, like a really heavy HP scaling build, might actually be pretty good. It's hard to say, though. 
take whatever I say with a grain of salt because it, it's always different once you actually start testing it out. Wow, this guy's going a uh, double cloth armor. Is he gonna rush our wardens on Camille? That's a new one. Make sure no one has a percent HP or Bork. Yeah, that's a good point. Cause you're gonna have a crazy amount of HP with that build. I don't think any of the new mythics are going to be like a perma must build on Urgot though. I think they just might be like situationally okay. That was a nice combo. Yeah, you want to get that E off right as she hits you with her E. That's an important thing right there. She does have TP pretty sure yeah is she gonna build a wardens that's my question yep a wardens rush Camille dude you know what I don't blame her with how that early game went with me getting first blood not a bad idea thankfully it's not too insane entire team count we got double AP plus a vein Good into me and Rek'Sai, but even Rek'Sai's got some true damage. Yeah, somebody was telling me that Iceborne is just going to be a new mythic, though. I thought they were reworking Frostfire into the old Iceborne. But somebody was telling me it's going to be a brand new mythic. Oh, I should have pinged that a bit sooner. Okay, let's push here. Zorn, bear witness. So yeah, I don't know if that's true or not. That's what somebody is telling me. It's going to be weird if there's Frostfire and Iceborne, though. <laughs> I assume that they were just reworking Frostfire into the Iceborne. Wait, they actually got Camille. And she never killed the Mal's either. That's actually really good. In that case, we'll go for another plate. Yeah, Sunfire is going to be a legendary. I don't think Sunfire is ever going to be built on Ergot anymore. It's going to be more of a like a melee tank item, I think, because you're just building it for the burn. Alright, we get enough for Cleaver. That's really nice. Also, we get free boots in a minute. An ally has been slain. Hey, welcome in, Glowtix. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think overall, though, I'm pretty happy with how the preseason is looking. I'm kind of glad they're not doing anything like too extreme. I don't know. Maybe some of the items will be a little bit broken. We'll see, but I'm sure if they are, they'll tune it down once the season actually starts. They always tune things down a little bit after preseason. I feel like.
feel like this Camille does not want to lane against me this game. Are you guys getting the same feeling? I feel like she's so scared. Oh wow, her E hit me there, but it, she still went. Mm, he's saving that spell shield, dang it. I think we can dive this. Wow, my W actually got him there. I'm kind of surprised we get that one. How are the games going? They're going okay. We had a jungle rage quit last game. Like, we were going to win the game completely and our jungle just rage quit because he died once. We got Malzalty here. Nice, well played. Nice and clean. Yeah, we had Urgot, Vayne, and Ryze last game, and we were all playing really well in the early game. We were literally ahead in kills. And our jungle died once, and the enemy team got Baron, and he just rage quit. So we ended up losing, but we played the match good, so... I guess it was kind of a decent game, but also kind of annoying. If I cash in my call, I think we can uh, get Eclipse here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go Prowlers this game. These guys are really squishy. Let's do a Prowlers match. Sounds fun right now. This is the only truth that matters. A weapon aimed at Dude, it's only 13 minutes in and I have my cleaver and prowlers already. That's insane. And we still got boots because that magical footwear. It's actually nice. Try to get some team fights going, hopefully. This would be a great time to team fight. They got no tower. Enemy rampage. I guess we used our Shelly already. I was going to say we could Shelly mid. Right, let's go get the top wave. That's a massive wave. I do want to try to be in a team fight, but they're kind of playing around it. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. That Prowlers was actually really nice. Hmm, I usually get Eclipse into Camille, but that's actually really nice. She actually can't eat away from me.
I'll just get these many ones. You actually get a lot of gold off the many ones. It's not really a big deal if they get the big one. Okay, this could be a 3v1. Let's be a little bit careful. Yeah, that's true, Scott. It's just, even when I get fed into Camille, it's still kind of hard to uh, stick to her sometimes when I go clips, I've noticed. Like, the fact I can follow the E is really nice. Yeah, I'd be kind of surprised if they ever nerfed Prowlers. Like, what champion even builds Prowlers right now? I guess our Rek'Sai has it. I guess I do see Prowlers a little bit. I definitely see more Eclipse, though. Prowlers feels strong, but it doesn't feel broken, in my opinion. Okay, that's a little bit overkill, guys. We'll take it, though. Lethality Volley Bear? That sounds terrifying. I remember before Volley Bear got reworked. bad fight you know honestly Camille getting my shutdowns fine she's still pretty out of the game it's gonna take a lot more than a thousand gold to get her back in the game what was I gonna say I can't remember what I was saying before that team fight Oh yeah, before Volley Bear got reworked, do you guys remember that one-shot build with a uh, PTA Ignite? That was honestly one of the scariest things to play against in top lane. Like, to this day, I think it would still be insane. Like, there was almost no way to live against that old Volley Bear one-shot combo. Even Bully Bear nowadays is still a pretty scary land, but not many people really play him. Oh, I should help this guy out. Alright, we're just here for the moral support. Soul game. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more spicy with this build. Not that Mountain Soul's bad. I just wanted like a Cloud or Infernal. Something to press my lead a little bit more. Wonder if this Camille's gonna rotate. If she doesn't, we should just try to force mid. We could probably dive right now. Whoa. My man just got one shot. 
Thank God for the E buff around Ergot, dude. Such a nice mechanic. If Swain can get in there, I can maybe throw a grinder at somebody. Probably good enough. We don't really have the. Uh, I don't know. He's even wave clearing on their team. Is it just Kaisa Q? Doesn't seem like they have great wave clear, but somehow they're wave clearing. Oh, nice. We got an assist on that. Oh, he's ulting bot lane. What the heck? Okay. Nice. Rek'Sai lives too. Four AD and their fizz is really behind. Let's get a randians. That fizz is gonna do no damage. Is she trying to take this? Maybe my team can get a. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, wait, he has no tower. 400, almost 500 movement speed. Nice, we got the Q. Clutch. I'm glad that Swain W burned out his spell shield. Yeah, the, dude, the new Randoons does look really nice. I think that item's gonna be way better. The current randoons is really weird because you don't really get much of a slow out of it, right? It's like a 99% slow, but it's for like, I want to say it's like 0 0.25 seconds. Ooh, good flash. Nice, clean game, dude. Victory. Very nice. I'm definitely feeling more warmed up now. Also, that early start was really good for us. One of the best openers I've had in a while. Another game where I wish I could honor everybody. Wow. Triple honor. Nice, dude. Let's see. Who's the person that didn't honor me? So, Rek'Sai honored me. Mal's honored me. And Swain honored me. Wow, the Vayne didn't honor me? This guy said he was happy to have me on his team in the champ select because I had him last game, too. And he was like, oh, nice, we got the Ergot again. Nice, GG. Freedom. 